So this is the, the I, I opened up a Neon Dynasty pre-release kit and the audio on the unboxing isn't working. So I will guess I'll, I'll, we watch it together, you know, and have a laugh. Um, yeah, as you can, you know, I've just got muted because it just sounds like gobbledygook. Um, the usual, we cut and open a package. Like, I wasn't, this is a five minute unboxing. I'm not even worried about it. I do like this style of unboxing. Like, not unboxing, but the, the pre release kits. The newer ones, I get like the, the packaging is probably less complex, but like, I like the shape and fit of these. Um, they're easier to store, I find. They're less awkward of a shape to handle. Uh, Maybe they look cooler and kind of remind me of a VSH tape a little bit. Um, that's what it was. It was just enough for the packs and the spin downs way down there in the bottom. See it? Yep. It's just the generic speckled spin down. Um, I like the modern black ones with the color text versus the older blue. Um... We got the Cloud Steel as the promo card. Um, which, uh, we'll check its value, it's not worth much. Yeah, let's see if that code works for you. Cloud Steel Kieran. Bunch of double side cards, those are always fun. Yeah, so I got a bunch of chaff. That's like the big part of this is there isn't really much in here that I didn't already have, unfortunately. Um, I already had a bundle. You know, it's always cool to get another land, get another Hinata. Hinata. Um, you know, me sorting out my rares, being all awkward. I also filmed this not on my table like normal. This is actually the shelf that I feed my cats on. It's a piece of counter, um, which is why the other oh, chart haven. Yep, chaff, 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 chaff. Yeah, that was a new card, March the Rich Sorrow. Chaff, chaff, chaff. Mountain. Tribute to Hirobi, that was new. I'll be done just speed running through this. We get to the, the good shit. That was new. The Hidetsu Devouring Chaos. Yeah, Disruption Protocol. Foil. After, after. Fable the Mirror Blade, that was new. That was new, that was new. Scrap Alder and the Forest Mabob. Oh, yep, it's not an unboxing out of the cat. It's probably like, hey man, what are you doing with my food? Yeah, so. Mostly the rares were new, so at least that's the cool part. Um. Which, when it comes down to the value, Fable the Mirror Breaker. $21 fucking card. Yeah. And so that made up the 
There's the whole value. It was a twenty. It was like a twenty-five dollar pre-release kit. Um, four bucks for the Crucible Defiance. Buck fifty for Tamrio safekeeping. Hinata, the Cloud Kirin. Yeah, and when I was watching, even now, I forgot that the Fable of the Mirror Breaker was a twenty-five dollar card. And like, this is it. This is the whole kit. This is the whole unboxing. Right here. So in that case, this is kind of a disappointment. But like, I didn't draft with it either. I didn't do a pre-release. Uh, I'm tempted to buy a, a draft box just to hold for fun. And people are out. 36 packs to draft with. Um, yeah. So I guess it wasn't all bad because I got that. But, you know. But this is going to rotate out of standard, so I don't know. Come this fall. 2022's... Oh no, this is 2022. We'll be good, right? No, or is... Yeah, it'll rotate out of standard. Because this fall, everything from Dominator United on will be standard. Everything else will fall off. So Capenna, Fable and the Mirror Breaker. Um, shit like that. Uh, yeah. This one, yeah. Meh. 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 Is what it is. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see, like, oh, what did I do? Oh, I started by artist. Oh, hey, Victor Adamity McGuinness. I like him. Oh, you can do buttons. That's cool. See, it wasn't, like, a bad pull. Card's strong. Get my money back. So there's that. Anyway, I thanks thank you for watching. You have a good day.